in this video. This is gonna be the beginner's guide. What's going on? This is Quan from Be Phenomenal. So this video right here is a beginner's guide to getting fit. So if you are new to fitness, this is your first time exercising, this video is for you. Also, if you have been working out for a while and you're just not seeing the results that you want to see, this video is going to be super helpful for you. So stay tuned. For the best fitness and health advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video every Wednesday and Friday. All right, the first thing you want to do is track your progress. So I recommend you Going on Amazon, getting you some measuring tape. Like this, you can probably get it for like five bucks on there. And then measure, I'm gonna show you where to measure. So for the first place you wanna measure, so put your fingers right where your shoulder and your bicep meets, right here. And about halfway down your bicep, you wanna measure your arm right here. So just wrap the tape right around here, wrap it around, get a measuring for your arm. The next one is gonna be for your chest. So just bring the tape around, Measure right here, right underneath your pecs, right here, or your breasts, <laughs> right underneath. And then get that measurement too, right there, because it's gonna show you if your back fat, you know, gets smaller, or if you're a guy, your chest gets bigger, you wanna see the difference if it gets bigger or smaller. So you wanna get that arm, you wanna get that chest. After that one, you wanna measure your stomach. And so there's several different ways you can do this. So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna just make it really simple for you. So just go where your belly button is. So just find your belly button, wrap the tape around, go right to belly button right here. And that's gonna give you a measurement of your stomach. So when you go back or you've been training for a month, two months, you're gonna see if your stomach has been going down. So a lot of times the weight may not go down as fast as you want it, but your body fat and your measurement and your inches and your clothes, everything fits better. So you wanna know your inches around your waist, your stomach, your back, all that. So for the next one, go right in the middle of your glutes. Just put the tape right around. So it's gonna just measure how big your hips are, how big your, your butt is. You wanna see that difference over time. All right, get that number, get all these numbers and write them down somewhere that you remember. All right, so you're gonna get that one. And the last one, go right in the middle of your thigh. So I like to put like four fingers right there, four fingers deep, and then wrap the tape around, and then it's gonna give you a measurement. It's gonna give you a number of where you're at. So make sure you get that one too. After you get those measurements, just get on the scale, figure out what your weight is. You might not like it now, but keep working through it. You'll get to where you wanna be. So just get the number, write it down, write all the measurements, all on the same page or wherever you wanna keep it in the same place. After that, take your photos. You gotta take your photos. A lot of times people work out, then they see a change, and they're like, oh man, I should've took a before and after photo. So the images really matter. So take a front photo, front, take a side. I prefer you have your arms up right here so you can see your stomach, and then the back, all right? So front, side, and back. Save all that. All right, so after you get all those measurements, you get the photos taken, you got your scale, your numbers on the scale, put all that in a safe place that you can save it. So for a month from now, do it again. Every single month, check those numbers, redo it. So after that, one of the most important things you can do for your fitness journey or for any journey is get you an accountability partner. So it's gonna be a lot of days, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough. You're not gonna wanna go to the gym and you're gonna need a partner there to help you and support you and push you through. And it's been proven that humans, we just work harder when people are watching us, people are, are motivating us. So you're gonna need to get you a partner. I suggest you get two different partners, two separate partners. Don't tell them about each other and then ha have both of them hold you accountable, all right? All right, so now that you got your partners, next thing you're gonna do is gonna download this app. It's called Habit Share. So you're gonna share your habits between you and your partners. So if you can track your habits, you can track your results. So whatever body you have right now is just because of all the habits that you've been doing, right? So if you wanna change that, you wanna change the habits. And looking at this Habit Share app is super, super effective because if you're two weeks in, a month in, you can see exactly what you've been doing. So it's one thing to be like, okay, I worked out today or I ate pretty good, but if you're tracking your habits every single day, your progress and everything is gonna be moving much smoother. So in this app, I suggest you to track three separate things. So track your food, track your exercise, and track your sleep. 
all right? So if these three things are on point, you're gonna be seeing good results, positive results, and track it every single day, all right? And then your accountability partners are gonna be holding you accountable to see it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you do this every single day and you start tracking it, those results are becoming much faster. All right, next thing I want you to do is set a small goal. So a lot of people come to me and they're like, oh, I wanna lose 50 pounds. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, this, that's a very lofty goal. It's definitely attainable. I help people do it all the time, but start with five or 10 pounds, all right? So get those small goals, get those small wins first, and then you're gonna have momentum and then you're gonna have motivation to keep going. So many people quit in the gym because they're not seeing the big results. They might work out for a month and they'd be like, man, I only lost five pounds, which is great. And they wanna lose 50 or 100, but you wanna focus on those small goals, Keep getting those small wins and it's gonna help you keep building momentum. So set a small goal, reach that one, set another small goal, reach that one, keep going. All right, meal prepping. All right, a lot of people do not want to do this one, but it actually saves you a lot of time. So it takes time up front to go home, make your meals, whatever you're gonna do, but do it on your day off and it's gonna save you a lot of time during your week. A lot of people are like, oh, I have a busy schedule, or I don't know what to do with my with my food, I don't have time, I'm driving around, but if you meal prep, just take your food with you, I guarantee you it's gonna save you a lot of time, and you're gonna have the food and the nutrition that you need, and you're not stopping at fast food places, throwing your goals off, right? If you need help meal prepping, I will attach a downloadable free ebook below. So you can download that. It's gonna give you a lot of different breakdowns of what you can eat and it's gonna give you exercises as well. So you can go click below and it's gonna give you some meals and a free meal plan. So after you have your meals already cooked, you got your meals ready, you got your accountability partner, all that, next thing you wanna do is schedule your workout. So I tell people, schedule your workouts like you schedule your job or anything else. Put it in your calendar so you know. After work, I'm going to the gym and just in my routine. I can't do anything else until I do this, just like work, or you can do it before work. I suggest if you can work out in the morning before work, that's the best time you can do it because there's less excuses. That's, it's not a lot of things happening in the morning, so you wanna go ahead and knock it out in the morning. I don't really like working out in the afternoon because you're spending up so much energy working, doing a lot of things. The last thing you wanna do is go to the gym at night, but I know a lot of people like to do it. It's just my personal preference, so schedule your workouts. All right, so I want you to remember these two words right here, elevation and resistance, all right? So if you're going to the gym, you're just not sure if you're doing things right, just remember these two words. Is my heart getting elevated? Am I getting a little tired? Is my heart pumping a lot more? Am I getting an elevated state? And am I using resistance? If you're going to the gym, you're not using any resistance, so you're not forcing your muscles to grow, you're not pushing it, you're not struggling at all in the gym, you might wanna up your weight, all right? If you're not getting any elevation from your heart, your heart's not pumping any harder, that means you might wanna start intensifying your workout a little bit more. So elevation and resistance, all right, if you need some workouts, remember you can click below and get that free book. And this video is helpful. Comment below, helpful. And any questions you'll have, I'll answer them below. Also, I have a community of people that's holding each other accountable. We got free meal plans, we got a whole bunch of stuff. I'll put that link below so you can add yourself to the group. And remember, if you like this channel, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the button, hit the bell to get notified for every video I post every Wednesday and Friday.